so today, not today, right now, so right now, I'm putting some stain on a bunch of trim we have for going all the way around the flooring all over the whole entire bus. Recording. Oh, thank you. See, done with that step in no time. Giving it a coat of wipe on poly. All right. We need to move the compressor closer to the bus. And then we need to feed the compressor hose in a window that's open that far because it's very hot. Very hot. Muy caliente. Yeah, we're close enough to Mexico. We can say that whenever we want here. We also have to decide. So there's going to be like bitter ends like right there where it meets the edge of this oh i see what you're talking and so about. we have to decide how we want to handle that so here's the trim that we stained and put wipe on poly so it's waterproof and here's mike's little miter box for cutting angles it's gonna Did go. you just saw off a random piece of wood yeah just so we could see how it fits so it'll go like that. And then what do we do with this end over here? That is the question. Okay. That seems pretty nice. Come over to the side and look at it. Make it at least sanded up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. It'll we are have going to do. back this way, correct? Yeah, but then we're going to have to use fat trim around that, the unsightly um, wheel bell. All right, so we just won't tack that one into place quite yet, because we may have to cut it back. Well, I screwed that up. Whoops. A little bit short. I don't know how. <coughs> I know exactly how. I marked it at 26. There we go. Got it right that time. Yep, so let's just round this edge off real quick. Round it off like that. Do we need to put some wipe on poly on it first though? This is going to be getting mopped. Yes, we should. shoot that right now because we're gonna have weird trim coming in there weird angles yeah it might need to be longer than that it might basically we're just not nailing in this piece right here until we get the trim for that part done oh look at Mike's balancing for the piece of trim over here <laughs> nice holding job McCandle this is part of the team On my toe. Perfect. <laughs> oh no, it's bigger than that one. Oh yeah, because, oh, because of the of Kleenex this. box holder. 29 and a quarter exactly. For those of you who didn't catch that reference, the back of this seat is only a couple of inches wide, but we made the back of this seat wide enough to, to fit a box of Kleenex and have space for other things that we use on a daily basis.
Yeah, this looks very finished. Oh, you finally get to do one with a nice straight cut. I know, two of them, in fact. <laughs> it just looks so nicely finished with that trim. It does, really. It just absolutely finishes that. You can't argue with that. It looks better. It sure does. It be the same. I can just do two. They should be, but they aren't. That's why it's okay if this stuff's a little wonky because you can nail it in place. And when I, this reminds me of being a kid. My dad had a, probably still his exact same one. My dad's 78 years old. And I go in his tool shed, the exact same toolbox is there. I open it and the smell of whatever oils and stuff got in there just take me back to six seven years old immediately same like he has this awl that has like a little screw tip and this really rough edge for like drilling into it and then widening out a hole and that thing has no sharpness it's just like these bunch of dull knurls still has it <laughs> a man's tools are a man's tools i wish oh. i <laughs> I wish I had my dad's organizational skills. I didn't have any of those. I got zero. Carrie can attest to this. Like, I got none of them. Super slob. I've yeah. said it before, and I'll I say it again. I don't put anything away. He doesn't put anything away. He just keeps buying new stuff and making a bigger and bigger mess. I know. I kept crafting the life for years. I mean, Sears finally gave it up. I got a little more organized. Sears had to shut down. Because they couldn't, uh, they just weren't making and selling the tools anymore. <laughs> if I was like buying snap on it, I'd have been selling my butt on the street to buy right? those expensive mm -hmm. tools. So it's a good thing I didn't have a snap on addiction. That didn't sound right. <laughs> All right, that looks nice. It really ties the floor into the cabinets. It's kind of an easier transition. Huh? Yeah, it just makes everything look so finished. Make sure there's nothing behind it. That's always a really, really smart thing to do. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> the last thing we need to do is shoot a Puncture a water line. Yeah. It would be just our luck. Yeah, especially since I haven't wired in the pump switch. We racing. Oh, to... that's right. And we can't shut it off at the touch of a button right now. Yeah. This is the pump switch that has to get wired in and then it will be able to shut off our pump if needed. Are you doing another load of laundry, I see. I sure did. Okay, so now, that thing. Tell me what your plans are. Well, I'm going to get my brown paint. I'm going to paint that thing brown, like our brown floor. And then we're just going to put some trim around it, as best you can. I don't know if I can make the curve. Carrie wouldn't let me get the fancy curve thing. I wanted to get the little curve tool. You've seen it on TV lately where they, they push it up against a rock and you get that perfect thing. I don't have that. And so now... Now the it, job can't be done? Now it can't be done. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Can't it's ridiculous done. buying a whole new tool just for one job. But we got to get this thing buttoned up. It's unsightly. We were going to build a box around it, but like the box would take up more room than than you know than the right like exactly just, by the time it came out here and went down here and over way over here it would be just cutting into your foot space so much in that area under the dinette we wanted to keep it just kind of as slim as it possibly can get you guys we bought so many sticks of trim and we used like what three right we totally overbought and I'll have you know that as we were getting into the car to drive to Sierra Vista to buy the trim I said wait we should go in the bus and actually measure everything that we need to trim and Mike said no oh, 
that'll be about I got we'll get about 80 feet that'll cover all the ins and outs yeah we use like three sticks what how many is that how many feet 30 feet 24 feet <laughs> look I get a new tool out of it though I know here we go again we're at the end of our build and he's buying this tool right here which oh. I'm sure you guys have seen on other people's channels. Put in the comments and tell me how awesome yours is because I know you all have one already. Like I can't tell you how many times we probably could have used that thing on this whole build and now we're like six weeks away from being done and he's buying it for one job at the end of the build. Somebody actually put a link in our in the comments for the for this tool so that we would get it when we were doing after we'd already done the wood floor unfortunately but he was right it would have come in handy in some spots especially around the doors and stuff like that so but this particular thing right here to me like I, i've always said this but i'm an accuracy junkie so but i think in this case here it's warranted because we're going to be sitting on the couch and the problem is right there so we're just going to be sitting here and for the rest of my days in this bus i'm going to be looking at this going he's God, using I wish this, I had done this all right. of this is just for the excuse to buy a new tool he can't stand we not having to, every tool possible we have to have it's it. going to be in the yard sale like next week <laughs> you're crazy that's going on the bus we have to help other people okay so we're ready to address the eyesore under the dinette we just need to get the table out of the way for working on it we actually had a lot of ideas for this we we're going to build a box around it and all this stuff and ultimately carrie's idea was the best was to just to trim around it and paint it so we just don't take up any more space in there already right. i'm going to take the table off for this op definitely I've been aware of these things for years, but they've come a long way in their design, which I really appreciate. And that is this uh, contour finder. So you have something like this now that you can, you know, and create a contour for it. So what we need to do is create a contour also from our right here. That's why we got this so we could do our best work. Carrie wanted me to wing it and I said, I need a new tool. And then here we are. Yep. Of course I won that one, obviously. He wins everything that's when it comes to buying something. Yes. Seems like it's kind of a big piece of wood right there. But we don't have to use something that big. It would seem nice like you could just push this down in here, but it's a lot easier just to do it this way. Okay. And there is our angle to cut. I think I cut on the wrong line on this one. That's why. Look at him just sawing away out there. That's way better. That's more like it. Yeah. Okay. So, that's one. Nice. Yeah, that contour thing kind of pays off, doesn't it? Sure does. Okay. Now you get to use it again. Poor Mike is all wounded. From the side view mirrors on our bus, the killer side view mirrors, decapitators. You might need a band aid. Probably do. Will you give me one? Yeah. This we one's got, gonna have to be bigger wood. We got Mike all band aided up. We're ready on. To, for what? Bigger wood? Right here. On the top. Oh, on the top. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to make one piece of wood go around the whole thing. Nice curves, baby. We're gonna have to plane this bad boy down quite a bit so it doesn't have this big old edge. That's 
little better. Very nice. Look what happens. Look at that. Oh, you can see through the knot hole. Look at that. <laughs> but when it comes to her, you better keep it. Walmart craft paint <laughs> in the color nutmeg. My little bird, my little flower, my little nutmeg. Just for reference, I'm shaking my head behind the camera. <laughs> he is like, shaking his oh head at God, me. Oh my God, like that. It's a Disney line. Somebody will know what movie that line is from. You watch in the comments. Ooh, look at this. Fun to squirt on. Boy, maybe we should use black. You know, look at how it dries though. It dries really dark brown. It looks like somebody had an accident. It sure does. Turns out this brown was a little too nutmeg. We're going with espresso. We're coffee people. We should have started with this color in the first place. Actually, I, I didn't really know I had a darker brown. This is kind of... Really dark. It was a surprise. It was new to me. <laughs> look, I have some new paint. I hope there's enough of this paint in here. Oh yeah, this is going to be way better. Except I got a goober on it. That's a little better. It's quite a bit darker. I think so too. I think once it dries, you'll really be able to tell the difference. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, you guys, so full disclosure, on the day we were trimming the wheel well, um, we went outside and I set the camera down for a few minutes for some reason, and then we went back inside, and then there was a freak thunderstorm, and it rained. It didn't just rain. It was a downpour, you guys. <laughs> It flooded our camera and we had no idea if the camera would ever work again. But I decided to remain positive and just go on with the filming day and so I grabbed the GoPro. So I walked around carrying that GoPro everywhere for the rest of the day, talking to the camera the whole nine yards and not until the next day did I discover that the GoPro was set to time-lapse, which means it wasn't recording any audio at all and it was only taking one snapshot every five seconds like boy we got some winning footage there let me just show you how good this gets the only thing i think you can tell that we actually did that day was mike also trimmed around the skylight i mean that's how it is these days you guys we're not just working on one job a day we're working on many jobs but i want to show you what we ended up with um, in the end with our wheel well here's the trim around it and it's still a little strange. I mean, it's just kind of a funky part of our bus, but like we explained before, we wanted to keep it really streamlined so we had the most room for our feet down here. So we just put a darker trim around the floor and then lighter trim around the walls. And it's still a little bit strange, but it's a lot better than it was. So that's our fix for the little bit of the wheel weld that shows underneath our dinette. So what do you guys think? Give us a like if you think it turned out good enough, even though it is a little bit strange. <laughs> well, that's about it for the floor trim video, you guys. I'm sorry it wasn't more exciting, but we're down to this weird time at the end of the build where we don't have like one single topic that we can make a whole episode about. We're just doing like a hundred odd jobs around the bus every day. 
and it's hard to make a video about that. There's so many things that we have to do now. And the, the worst part is, is that like we kind of set ourselves a, a time hack here. And so now like you kind of have to pick your battles like, you know, uh, do we film a whole bunch of stuff and, and spend hours and hours editing? Or do we film a little bit and spend a little bit of time editing so we can meet this time hack? So, but uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're so close, you guys. You, you, like, you wouldn't even believe We're just it. getting to the point where it's like time to turn in our 30-day notice. And that is crunch time for us because that means we have to have all the junk out of our house. And for me, that's like 30 years of accumulated junk. So yeah. we have a big job ahead of us that's probably not going to be a very exciting video about that either. So hang in there you guys and bear with us because the next couple of weeks are going to be a little bit weird and there's a chance that we could possibly miss posting a video one day and you might not even see us again till the next week. I hope that's not the case but if it is just hang in there and know that we will be back and we will put up videos as soon as we have them. You guys are going to freak out with all the tools. I just took all my tools and I put them in a big dumpster. You wouldn't even believe it. I'm kidding. That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Never in a million years would that happen. Not with Mike Guyver. No, 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 no. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Like and subscribe right away. Ta-ta. <laughs>